This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Asteroid Strikes Earth. Thursday, January 2nd, 2014. We're eyes on the skies. We're feeling the heavens with our mind, our hearts, and our soul. At least we're trying. I'm trying. I don't know what you're doing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about Asteroid 2014 AA or AA. AA Alpha Alpha Asteroid Asteroid. Apple, Apple? Amy, Amy. Amy, Amy! Whoa, that was creepy. They're weird, I guess. Asteroid 2014, double A. Holy crap, Earth's coming at me. Whoa, I stopped it like Neo. Asteroid 2014, double A. Passed by us with a 4.0 E, negative 4, Earth distance. I put that in my calculator, and then my calculator said, kiss your own butt. Which is why we should never let machines and computers go online. Because they do not understand that human being cannot kiss his own butt. Duh. So yeah, we find out what the day before it hit missed. And the trend has been the last few months that we usually find the close ones after they pass this. Man, is space dangerous? The answer is yes. Even in a hypothetical scenario where, like, let's say every single bit of data professional science has put out was fabricated, I would still say there's always a 1% chance of danger from space. Just because we know so little. It's the first asteroid discovered in 2014. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Asteroid double A tunneled through Earth's atmosphere, technically striking Earth over the mid-Atlantic region, crossing multiple continents. It was only as big as a couch car, which coincidentally enough is a new product that Goldman Ford is coming out with this year. A couch that is also a car. You can drive it right into your living room. Man, these are the worst jokes ever. Whatever. It had an estimated size of 1.7 meters or 3.8 meters based on the object's absolute magnitude. Wait, man, everybody's talking about this asteroid. Wait, let's look over at Slate's Bad Astronomy written by Phil Plate. Two people are spying on you. When did that number go way down? That's crazy. It must be just talking about like at this exact moment, right? I know the number is way higher than that, bro. Okay. Tiny asteroid discovered just yesterday. Virtually certain to have harmlessly impacted Earth. Well, being virtually certain is about the same satisfaction as virtual sex. I don't even know what that means. And that's the great thing about having your own YouTube channel. You don't have to explain it. You just move on. Hey, look. A bright meteor lit up the skies over the Netherlands in 2009. To be clear, this is not 2014 Dole. I put it here. Only for illustrative purposes. Man, why does that chick to the right look hot but angry? Is she hot? Is it a chick? I think it's a chick. Okay. For just the second time in history, an asteroid was discovered before it impacted the Earth. What? It's a weird sense. Don't panic. It was very small. It's probably just a few meters across. And it burned up harmlessly in our atmosphere. But after events of the past year, it underscores the need to keep our eyes open. The hell, man? I talk about freaking asteroids, everybody craps their pants, poops in cups, tries to get me to drink it. He's like, you're a fear monger. I was like, no. I'm looking at the severe uptick in asteroids. And I think that there is something happening within our solar system. Whether it be the sun's gravity tightening the orbits of all planets a little. Therefore, pulling in all the asteroids. Or who knows, some other crazy shit. Or maybe I don't know nothing, man. I just like talking about asteroids. Alright, the rock was faint. Meaning it passes out easily. Okay. In fact, as the Minor Planet Electronic Circular Saw Discovery Nap said, we shot it with our freaking lasers and it exploded. It was like ginormous, 150 million times bigger. But we have these giant lasers in space that we don't tell nobody about. And we got a ton of crap coming in, man. And we're going zap, zap, beauty, 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 pow, pow. And we are zapping it with our lasers, man. Just don't tell anybody and don't post it on your blog. Okay? Yeah, that's exactly what the field player wrote over there on Slate. I think. I don't know. My eyes are blurry. Did I read that wrong? Crap. From its brightness, it was probably about two to four meters across. About the size of a car or couch. Remember? Wait, I just forgot. Oh, yeah, I remembered. No, I don't. That's okay for NASA to say, keep your eye on the sky. Let's look out for asteroids. Look for patterns and upticks. But it's bad for YouTubers to do it. Okay? And seriously, NASA, you guys can rev up the whole space doom shit if you want to get your budgets higher, okay? 
you know, common sense. And we have 15,000 cameras in orbit around Earth, and they're all pointed at Earth. Can't we point one or two of these towards this zone where we got all these 150, 200 meter asteroids coming in? You know, like 2013 XZ21. It's 520 meters, man. Can you take a photo of that? Or what about or Auction House 76? Talking about asteroids and I'm not doing a very good job. I forgot how to make videos. Yeah, the people from the Matrix came and injected me with some bug. And I've not had a girl come suck it out yet. With her pump gun, like Trinity in the Matrix. Get your mind out of the gutter. How did your mind get in the gutter in the first place? How does your mind know how to pick up a ladder? Do you have telekinesis? Are you a Jedi? Or are you a Sith? Hell yeah, I think this video might sucketh. While you're at it, why don't you punch a camera way out into space, turn it around, show us the art cloud, or whatever. There is no doom, people. Space could never hurt you. Asterisk. Kentucky Fried Chicken 47. Or Kentucky Fried 47. I guess there's no chicken there. Crap, I forgot how to do three-act narrative structure in a short video. You make a point, and then you have a middle, and then you end it. Stupid me. I'm a failure. Hey, wonder what the sun's doing. Let's check it out. Gravity's tripping me up, man. And over at the Roman Zako blugspot.com we're talking about small asteroid 2014 the discovery of the asteroid 2014 double a discovery magnitude was at 19.1 by mount le mans survey mpc code g96 dash observer ra kowalski on images taken on january 1.2 with a 1.5 meter reflector below you can see one of the discovery images of 2014 double a the asteroid is the streak just left of the center surrounded by the purple circle dearly beloved we are gathered here today to celebrate this thing called life you know the one it's all right below you can see the two maps of the possible impact region made by bill gray oh my god it's coming right at me oh my god it's coming right at you okay enough with the serious stuff ladies and gentlemen i think the facts are over and facts asterisk <laughs> it's 2014 hey dude it's 2014 that's crazy thanks very much i'm glad you liked it that's what she said no seriously that's what amy manzer said she's glad he liked it or dom i don't know if that's a character girl all right peace out god bless good to be back happy new year astonishers keep on astonishing in the semi-free world